This is from Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming. And he came up to the Ancient of Days and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and men of every language might serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which will not pass away, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. We are in a kingdom. If you are a believer, you are in a kingdom. And I know uh, some time ago I brought some messages about what I believe is my place in this world. In this world, my place is to walk in his kingdom. And I like to say often that I have one king, one kingdom, and one allegiance. And that is to God in Christ and to no other allegiance in this world. And today, unfortunately, we are seeing, as I often like to say, the powers doing what powers will do. Why did God tell Samuel? It's not you. It's me they're against. If they want a king, let them have a king. But if they have a king, know this. They are going to do exactly what we see happening today. A kingdom, although we don't call them kingdoms, trying to swallow up another one. And it's unfortunate, and it leads to unfortunate things. And, you know, all we can do is pray for those people and pray that our leaders uh, would do the right thing, which so far seems to be holding up on our side. We cannot, as believers, put ourselves under the authority of, of the kingdom of this world because when we do we just get swallowed up in what they do um and it, what do we learn about in the first lesson how do we overcome evil with good if you listen to the news outside of all the terrible things that are happening there are people in that part of the world that are trying to overcome evil with good and how are they doing that they're sitting on the outsides on the borders, and the people that are coming in, they are treating them as best as they can, and they're welcoming them. Uh, and there are people inside of that conflict doing the same thing. And like I said, all we can do is pray and hope, uh, and hope that people will continue to do good in the face of what's happened, regardless of the outcome, regardless. That's all we can do. As soon as we bend down and start acting in the same way, then we're stepping outside of everything we just learned in the second sermon. And remember what kingdom you're in when you're walking. The kingdom of his dear son. Amen. Realm of Jesus. Amen. Thank you.